Right, so welcome back to the conclusion of this three day test run on Omegon Astrograph F2.8. Yeah, so the last uh, three Omegs that we shot was the Heart, the Soul, and the Flaming Star. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna take a look at the first object, which was the Heart Nebula. Uh. Yes. Yeah, I've shot it before, but this is, I mean, two minute exposures. This is 60, 32 frames. Yeah, so that is 64 minutes. Uh, yeah, it's super good. <clears throat> uh, I mean, this little telescope just sucks in light. Yeah, it's absolutely great. I have to come back with a light. I like to do it in five minute exposures or something and, and, and a lot more. Yeah, but I did this just to test it, just to get it. Uh, a feel for it and <clears throat> while the objects were um, still between the treetops so I did this and then I slewed over to its neighbor the Sol Nebula this had a lot more time on it uh, 63 frames two minutes yeah <clears throat> and I think we can see that it's the I managed to squeeze out a lot better signal from this using uh, a lot more exposures so I'm much more happy about this. Uh, I like this little thing. I haven't really thought about that being like a, a, a uh, like a bubble shape. Yeah, is it like it's a, I don't know, like a planetary nebula or something. I don't know uh, if it's the shell of a red giant or something that's been ejected. I don't know. I'm just uh, making shit up now. <clears throat> anyway, I really love how that came out. Uh, really good. Uh, what I'm not super happy about is the framing. <clears throat> like I could have got the um, the heart and the soul possibly uh, framed like they should be, like this ish. Maybe I'm not completely spatially correct here, but yeah, this is roughly how they are <clears throat> uh, situated. Uh, so if I had it better frame maybe I could have made like a two panel mosaic now if I want to make that into a mosaic I need to make a stitching frame to to complete this <clears throat> so we're doing that um, that is for next time yeah but then <clears throat> yeah so I did this and uh, yeah super happy about that this needs some more the heart needs some more but for what it what, what it's worth what I got from it like an hour and that's what I have. That I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. Yeah. <clears throat> so then, uh, once these uh, hit the treetops, I <clears throat> slew to another target, uh, also very well framed with this telescope and the camera, the Flaming Star Nebula. Yeah. Look at it. Same thing here. I mean, all the contrast that comes out, the nebulosity that you get with the camera, the the telescope and the filter, the Ellen Haas filter, I think it works absolutely beautifully with this telescope. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's hardly any halos in there. I mean, I don't, I, on the strong stars I've seen, I'm not super bothered about the halos. They're nice, nicely shaped. And, but on these uh, smaller one stars, which still are quite strong, you don't see any halos really to be bothered with. Yeah. Um, and this had 26 frames yeah <clears throat> that was 52 minutes something and this is what we have yeah absolutely amazing uh, now back to the filter i know that these stars have some nebulosity around them yeah um and uh, uh, the filter just cuts that out <clears throat> so i need to come back here at some point with and do it without a filter but then i think i need to be uh, in a darker site or just <clears throat> move down to to the field close to here just to uh, shoot without without the filter yeah and maybe a longer uh, like five minute exposure possibly also yes. but you can see here behind the frame here that's not in the frame is the tadpoles i think you have the spider and the fly nebulas up here somehow yeah so that's also for another another time to complete this and make um <laughs> like a two panel mosaic of it yeah so these three objects is concluding the the test run of this telescope yeah 
and I'm in love. It's absolutely amazing. Now, that's it. So, uh, uh, next time we're gonna see if we can manage to stitch these two together. Yeah, uh, with some framing. See how that works. Uh, it's it's too bright now. It's like almost summertime. Uh, so I don't think we will almost have maybe a few minutes of astronomical night, but there's not much to play with. So we'll just see what we get, and uh, otherwise we'll just come back to it next next uh, season, uh, after August sometime. Mm -hmm. So, and um, till then, we'll just get the pictures up here from uh, from what we've done, and um, yeah, maybe the dark side be with you.